whenever jihad is used in the Quran, I think most of the time it's being used in the context of war and um, killing infidels. So that's the defense of people that say, actually, no, jihad is violence. That's what they should, that's what they use. But so when you have the podcast called Secular Jihadists, do people ask you if, if that's something that you want to take? Like, is it okay punching a Nazi? You know, we were just being sarcastic. Yeah, okay. yeah, we were just. I mean, the title, the title itself is just oxymoron. Yeah. Uh, but it's it makes it's an oxymoron that makes people think, and then especially like people from like, what do you mean by secular jihadists? What do you mean? That's like the atheist Muslim. Thing. I know. I, I everything like, I get what involved you in is, is like has an oxymoronic title. I Saddam and after Saddam. Whatever somebody says, don't watch this video, don't say this, it's sky, like the views go mm. by the tens of thousands yeah. because now it becomes an act of dissidence yeah, yeah. to be say these things that the government doesn't want yeah, to say. Yeah. And there was this conversation between Dennett and Dawkins about why the U.S. is more uh, religious. And he said, the, fuck, I have this ice thing, uh, mm. that because there's a separation of church and state in America, right, yeah. it's not cool to be, like in, in the UK because there was a mix of church and state, yeah. it becomes an act of dissident to be anti-religion because yeah. the mix of exactly, the government yeah. and the state, but well, in the United States there is no, yeah, yeah. there is separation, now people become more religious, well yeah. if it's in Denmark, it's mixed, it's, it's, well, there's yeah, also the to be like an anti-government yeah. to be atheist, it becomes yeah. like an act of yeah, resistance yeah. against the yeah, government, yeah. so the moment you start like pushing hate speech laws, uh, the moment it's going to become like, it also has to do with the Cold War, so in the like generally in yeah. the 20th century because the Soviets were always the, the branding was that these are the godless atheists yeah. so even when the US supported the Mujahideen and Mujahideen by the way for those you know is actually derived from jihad those yeah, who, yeah, yeah. Yeah, moderate, moderate. yeah so when they waged them and they talked about how they were equivalent to the founding fathers because yeah. they're fighting the Soviets the whole idea was because they're fighting the godless atheists but Soviets. at the same time it's a very serious business because in Denmark I was I was one, I have a lot of documentation of, of this as well when like with the I, I, uh, Syria war, uh, a lot of Salafists were like pro using Facebook to to their own recruits, propaganda, recruits, yeah. and they recruited so many people in Denmark. Right, that's mm -hmm. so dangerous. And these people, uh, like it was like Al Qaeda propaganda. Everything, nobody did anything. Nobody took it seriously. And they were they would go. They would like say what to do when you go there, where to give money. Everything was like like. Out in the open, and a lot of people went. And these are terrorists. Like but that's not just free speech. That's conspiracy, uh, uh, an act of terror, right? So there's a difference between yeah. I mean, there is there is a code. If you ask people to pledge an allegiance, for example, to a terrorist group, I think mm -hmm. that's another crime as well. Like I mean, for example, like ISIS is listed as the State Department uh, terrorist groups. Yeah. And yeah. If someone is recruiting for this terrorist group, I think that's. It's an act of like terrorism or conspiring as an act of terrorism. Yeah. So I mean, I, I think that but the reason why Denmark has these issues has a lot to do with a lot of political correctness. Is that they don't want to enforce some of these laws, or they try to give quote unquote minorities free pass. I mean, FGM. The cases in in London, the police is afraid of reporting FGM because they don't want to be viewed as you know phobic and racist. And also like rape. So, there was this Pakistani thing. Uh, for ages, uh, with with the uh, with girls being like raped, and, uh, yeah, yeah, Rotherham, yeah, and yeah. they they were yeah. afraid to be racist. Yeah, so there is this. I think that some of it has to do with like the fact the fact is like I mean, if neo Nazis are popularizing uh, anti Jewish material or anti black material on the internet and asking people to join the Nazi party. I yeah. think the Danish government and the European left would probably have a bigger issue with them mm -hmm. than yeah, yeah, exactly. they would. Exactly. With, it, I think it's more to do with like enforcement of laws. They they try to sketch these laws about advocating for violence when it comes to minorities because they don't want to be viewed as xenophobic and white supremacist and all these things, which unfortunately is empowering white supremacists and racists because now the white supremacists and racists are becoming heroes. Because they're the ones who are standing against the political correctness yeah, of no, the left. Yeah, yeah. So, and then we, that's the mess we have right now, in which like there is strong polarization between those who say that there is no problem with Islam whatsoever, mm -hmm. and those who say like let's kick them all out. And anybody who looks like Armin is a secret jihadist. So, I mean, yeah. this is this is a uh, yeah, this is a, the polarization that we are facing right now. And as a result, mostly as a result of political correctness and how mm -hmm. it's being yeah, applied. Yeah, and I don't see it stopping. I'm. I'm 
I, that's, that's because they've got the basics of it wrong. And the, yeah. so this is actually the, the theme of my book, is that Islam as an ideology is very different from people who are Muslims who adopt it as an identity. And, yeah. You know, they're, they're sort of born into it, so they kind of defend the ideology, even though they never really acquired it, they're just born into it. So this conflation of ideology and identity um, is done by both the left and the right. So what he's talking about is on the left, right, you have people saying that if you criticize anything about Islam, you're bigoted against all Muslims. Yeah. On the right, it's like Islam has a lot of problems. That means all Muslims yeah. should be banned or profiled or demonized. So when you have that, both of them are not making that distinction. Yeah. And the distinction is really easy to make, and it's not contradictory. It's uh, what, um, Ed, well, Evelyn Beatrice Hall, they say Voltaire said it, he didn't really say it. But now, uh, having said that, I may despise what you have to say, but I defend to the death the right to say it. Yeah, yeah. And that's our Dalla Khomeini. So that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, why, why do you think that's such a crux? Why so many people get this wrong? Why is it such a simple concept that attacking somebody's ideas is not the same as attacking that a, a group of demonizing people? Demonizing people, yeah. Demon, why, why is this so hard to get for so many people? I, you know, it's, I, I do get why it's hard to get. Like, you know, for instance, if you come up and, um, I mean, it's just, it's just a perception. Like, like, it doesn't happen that much now with Christianity. You come and you tell me you're a Christian. Mm. Now, I'm not going to be like, oh, okay, so you think that, you know, we should kill gay people? Because Jesus said that the Old Testament is still law, mm. and it's the word of God, and the Old Testament says to kill gay people, so you believe that. Like, no, nobody says that seriously to Christians, mm. right? Because um, that idea of, uh, I guess, infallibility of the scripture has been diluted over the years because of the Reformation, yeah, the Enlightenment, yeah. and so yeah. on. But with Muslims, all the time. If I tell people that my parents are are still believing Muslims, you know, they'll be like, "Oh, so you know, they believe in slavery and they believe in that." No, they don't. They, but, but they don't want to know more about Islam they, either, they right? Barely know. Yeah, yeah. So the majority of people in the world, here's the difference between the ideology and yeah, the identity. Yeah. The, the the ideologies in the Quran, every word in the Quran is part of the ideology. If you want to know, you can't know what Islam is. If you look at the Quran, yeah. that no matter what sect or de denomination the Muslim Muslims are from, that is Islam. The yeah. Quran is Islam. All right, but the majority of Muslims in the world, so the biggest Muslim populations in Indonesia, non-Arabic speaking, India, non-Arabic speaking, it's got the second largest population. Pakistan, non-Arabic speaking. Bangladesh. Bangladesh, Turkey, Iran. The majority of the world's Muslims yeah. don't even know the language of the Quran. They don't even understand it. Yeah. And even the uh, people in the Arab world, a lot of them, because the, the Quran is written in classical Arabic, yeah. uh, there are very few of them actually can understand what the language is. So most of them haven't read it. How yeah. many Christians have actually read the Bible cover to cover? They haven't. And it's really the same thing with Muslims. Yeah. And um, even in polls, when they, uh, I'll give you an example, I actually have a relative. And we were talking about polygamy, whether you should have four wives or not. And she was defending it in theory. So if a pollster came to her from Pew and said that, do you think that four marriages is okay? She would defend it, just like she defended it to me. When I asked her about it, I'm like, okay, so if your husband comes with a second wife, she said, no, that's wrong. She had a problem with it. So Because she lives in a Western society where she right. can you choose whatever she wants. Yeah. Exactly. Or yeah. even people who live in Pakistan, just yeah. in yeah. Pakistan, oh, okay. they, they still think that way. When they... That so a lot of them, a lot of my family knew that I was a non-believer. So you know, they would occasionally, if you ask them, uh, not my immediate family, extended family, friends, yeah, yeah. Uh, you'd ask them like, so, so should apostates be killed? That's a punishment. Yeah. And Islam, that's the thing. If you leave, it's treason. You should be killed. I'm yeah. like, so do you think I should be killed? Yeah, yeah. They're like, well, not you. Yeah, you know, yeah. you're like we love you. You know, you're yeah. nice. You're <laughs> nice to us, and you. <laughs> you listen to everything we have to say, you have good debates, you do yeah, it yeah. in the... T I'm like, but I don't believe it. I am an apostate, so should I be killed? And I'm like, no, you should... And th that's the thing with these people, is that they theoretically believe this yeah. stuff because they've been told it through the ages. If you're in the Muslim community and you don't believe in the Quran and God, you're not a Muslim. It doesn't matter. I mean, I oh, think I think he says it's an oxymoron and it yeah. will always be... It, no, that's yeah. true. Definitely, yeah. absolutely. You can't be a Muslim if you don't believe it. 
Yeah. In my family, they say, no, 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 you are a Muslim. No, 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 you are a Muslim. Don't say that. Don't say that. You're a Muslim. I'm like, no, you know, not. You know, you have to be like, that's why the Torah that there is no God and Muhammad is not his prophet. There. Now, am I still a Muslim? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they said, they still <laughs> just say, no, no, don't say it. Don't I say it. it. No, no, because yeah. they, they say, and I've heard people say, like, of course you are. You're, because, you know, you were born in that, right? There, there's, uh, Your father's a Muslim, you're a Muslim. Yeah, that, that, no, that's the idea. They, same with us. Your that's how you people... That's an, an Islamic thing to say, because even in Islam itself acknowledges that this is all about belief. It's not about blood, it's not about genes, it's not about birth. But I was... Uh, it's in, about you yeah, well, have to I mean, agree... For me, I think whether you are a true Muslim or a uh, Shia, you deserve the Quraysh. Or <laughs> Shia, okay. <laughs> or, but you know what's funny is the... I, um, <laughs> La- last year, what I was actually I was here in Hollywood and I did the talk at Atheist United, like, and this uh, lady came up to me afterwards and she was Jewish, and then I mentioned the same thing to her. I'm like, well, you know, because you know, people are Jews, like that's also an ethnicity, it's you know, a, a culture as well. So there's, um, so you can be an atheist Jew isn't as contradictory. And she's like, that's bullshit. She's like, all of these people are telling you that Jews are an ethnicity, and she's like, a, mm-hmm. she's, she's Jewish herself. She's like. That's bullshit. He's like, I don't like calling myself a Jew anymore because I don't believe it. He's like, what did they call the Jews before Moses? Or what did they call the Jews before? She, she had all of these arguments. Mm-hmm. That, but it's a culture, right? I mean, well, it is a city. And, and it truly is time. because there's DNA markers that put you yeah. in this particular <laughs> group. So, I mean, I mean ideally. But I, like, I, even I, that is disputed. So, for instance, like my, um, my 23 and me says that my. Ancestry, my white chromosome, apple, this is not going to help uh-huh. the whole thing that you know, they think that we are all secret Zionists, but my paternal <laughs> ancestry is actually Are-me? Ashkenazi Jewish. So I have ah. to say, apple Well, was, welcome. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a, yeah, the whole paid Asian thing is not going to help. Obviously, I'm not Jewish, but right. the, um, that, that ancestry is there. So the yeah. people who have, you'll find a lot of Arabs or a lot of uh, Bedouins in sort of western Saudi Arabia around where Jeddah and Mecca yeah. is. That have the same paternal haplogroup mm-hmm. as J one C three. It's the one I have, and that's the one that's also about forty eight percent. J one. This is the J one. <laughs> <laughs> the Ashkenazi, like, <laughs> the Sephardim. Yeah, the Mizrahi. Yeah, there's the uh, and about um, about the close to fifty percent of people with the surname Cohen, Jews with the surname Cohen, have the same paternal mm-hmm. haplogroup. So, even though there are obviously going to be some genetic markers that will be different, and I, I don't know how disputed that is. I don't know yeah. the details of it, but um, there hasn't really been any, there isn't really any significant difference between, difference between people of those regions, when, it's, when you look at the ancestry, when you look at the genetics. Uh, and I'm hopefully, we're going to live and, in And everybody who has published some yeah, is always sort of like a very religious Jewish Oh, right, person, or here's we're going to yeah, prove why, we're, why we have all the Nobel yeah, like Prizes the, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, the, yeah. Like but, but th- that's maybe because you don't have cousin, cousin right? like and marriages. Do you have that? Uh, oh, because that's oh, really a big thing in Muslim. Uh, well, you know, I think it's ruined. To, to your great. point, though, about uh, not necessarily having to believe in God, I think that some of it, if you have this concept that the Messiah hasn't come and you're waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting, so then you can say, okay, maybe he's not coming, and then it's only a little further step to maybe he doesn't exist. Yeah. You, you know? And. Also, being in the diaspora before there was Israel, it you carry it here and here rather than have it attached to something, so it doesn't have the same sort of um, commitment in terms of you're defending something, you know. Because I've noticed a difference too since all of a sudden this religiosity that everyone's like, "Who? This is what we got kicked out of the temple in the first place for? What's with the zealotry?" Yeah, yeah, you know, so it's different. And it wasn't always like this. Like that's the thing. A lot of these no. things, a lot of secularism and everything, and everybody's Judaism is a going very backwards. Recent, it's in a my recent opinion. phenomenon, and, and yeah. if, even if it's a few hundred years, that's that's recent in mm-hmm. Judaism because Judaism is like a really, really old religion. I don't know. I was always told you didn't need to believe in God. It wasn't, you know. So who believes? You still go to synagogue. Like that yeah, was yeah. the end, you know. Yeah, they're, they're uh, rabbis. I wish, I wish like. God. Yeah. In our generation, like we're gonna solve this like no. issue in, in terms of final solution. Yeah, no. The final solution. Yeah. <laughs> of, uh, the final solution of the race question. <laughs> and that I hope like in our generation like this the concept of identity based upon race is gonna be reducing more and more 
versus like an identity based upon ideas, which mm -hmm. is what we have right now.